Hi guys, welcome back. So we are at the last stretch of the Fruit of the Spirit series and it has been quite a very long month if you ask me. So today we are looking at goodness. So what is goodness? Goodness is used a lot in our daily lives and therefore I believe that goodness has lost its true meaning. So the Bible tells us that um, goodness is holiness, purity and righteousness. So it's quite a high standard set by the word goodness just because of the example that we have which is Jesus Christ, right? Remember in the beginning God looked at everything that he created and he said that it was good. And this is because it was holy, it was pure, it was righteous, there was no sin, there was no wrong, it was perfect. Until sin came by and corrupted everything. And that is why it said that only God is good. And therefore, goodness is a fruit of the spirit because only God is good and you can only get that fruit of the Spirit through receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and then you will get the Holy Spirit which will then help you to have that or carry that fruit of goodness or in short it will help you to be good and this basically just means that we are not good because of, of the things that we do because we also find unbelievers who are doing good deeds yet because they do not have the spirit that means that they do not have goodness in the context of the fruit of the spirit but we merely are good because of the identity that we have which is the identity of Jesus Christ who is good that is imprinted into us and that makes us good and just because Jesus Christ is the set standard for goodness it's quite very big shoes to fill yeah and therefore we should live a life that is best witness of god's existence your life should not even make sense to people when they look at you they should they should know that you know what this is this person is not normal there's something or someone behind this person that is driving them that's how good your life should be yes, your life basically is the only bible that someone might read Therefore, it should be so good. In the, in the Bible, it says that, Be holy for I am holy. That means that we do have the ability to be holy, um, even though we should fall short, and therefore we do have the grace that carries us. And this can only happen when your life is fully invested in God. Because it's basically Christ's life that is lived out through us. In Romans 6.13, it says that, and do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God and also in Romans 12 it tells us that do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good so this means that even as we're building even as we're doing the things that we are doing that even when people do us wrong or there is evil that's going on around us we need to hold ourselves together and still be good sinless we must be holy we must be righteous because it's not merely our deeds good deeds most of the time that makes us good because like i said even unbelievers can do good deeds but we are good merely because of the god-given identity that we have gotten by receiving Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. So guys, that is all for me for today and for goodness. Um, so let's not forget to be good all the time. Let's stay away from sin. Even though when we fall, we stand up and we move on. Let's try to be holy. Let's try to be righteous. Let's try to be... Um, let's just live a life that will identify us as being Christ-like. 